Welcome back and today I am driving the Kia Seltos. So before we start I want to thank Mr. Virgin for lending me his car. This car soaks up most of the bumps, uh, it's not bumpy. We have some potholes coming ahead so let's see uh, how this car can handle those. It's decent. The car has a ground clearance of about 190mm which means that you can drive to most of Indian roads without scraping the deck. First impressions, car feels uh, so much updated. Now coming to the interiors of this car, the steering wheel feels a bit crowded with a lot of uh, controls. And this car comes with a 10.25 inch uh, display. As you can see it's quite massive and the AC controls are quite uh, simple. And this car comes with a Bose sound system. The infotainment system of this car has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and it's also USB, AUX and Bluetooth compatible. So now let's check out the rear seat of this car. Knee room is quite decent, it's not enormous but it's quite uh, decent for my height. I feel the under tie support of this car is quite low mm, and it could have been a bit better. Also the headroom of this car is quite spacious and I feel the headrest could have been a bit better. The windows are quite large enough to give an airy feel to you. It doesn't feel too much crumpled in the rear seat. You also have the sun blinds which you can hook on. The rear passenger gets hack-ons and USB charging socket. And in the top variants you get this uh, display over here which shows you the air quality index of the cabin. Guys, now I'm going to be taking the car through some twisty roads and see how this car can perform in such conditions. Back on the road. The steering is quite light and uh, you will probably appreciate it when you are in uh, city traffic. So here we go. Steering is so light for my liking. I would expect a bit of feedback from the steering. As the car comes with an EPS unit, it wasn't much confident inspiring in the corners. But once you reach highway speeds, things should get a bit better. It gets safety features like dual airbags, ABS, and EBD. While the top of the line variant gets 6 airbags, brake assist, ill old control, electronic stability program and traction control system. You get a nice commanding view of the road ahead. I'm still in 5th gear but the car picks up pace even after slowing down. And I feel the gear race is a bit short. Turbo kicks in, could feel a bit of turbo lag but that is not uh, much noticeable. Now let's take a look at the exteriors of this car. Towards the front you have this uh, tiger nose grille which is quite nice. The top variants get LED fog lamps while the car I am driving gets a projector unit. Also the headlights are projectors with halogen bulbs. I just love the sculpted hood. It gives a muscular feel to the car. I also like this uh, OAVMs, they are quite sleek, beautifully designed uh, tail lamps. They have this Seltos badging. Let's open the boot and see. The boot space is quite enormous and you have this uh, small light over here and you also have this Tiffany wheel. And this car comes with 205 R16 tires, so let's pop the hood. The car comes with a 1.5 litre turbocharged diesel engine that's made to a 6 speed manual transmission. The engine puts out 113 bhp of peak power at 4000 rpm and 250 Nm of peak torque at 1500 rpm. The car has an ARAI claimed mileage of about 21 km per litre. So 
now let's test the acceleration of this car. I'm slotted in first gear. The engine has enough grunt and the car is quite quick. When you are in the highway and you need that burst of power to overtake, this car doesn't demand you to like downshift. Put your foot down and the car will pounce ahead. Now coming to the braking, get disc brakes on all four wheels and I would say Kia has done an amazing job in insulating the cabin. Being a diesel car, you don't hear much of the engine noise and uh, road noise. The car I am driving right now is the HTK Plus variant which means it misses some of the features like the connected car feature, GPS navigation and ventilated seats. But what you do get are features like automatic headlamps, follow me home headlamps, voice command and reverse camera with parking sensors. Finally, should you buy the Kia Seltos? That's totally up to you. But what I can say is that car comes in 16 variants. Yes, you heard me right. The car comes in 16 variants starting with the base HTEG petrol variant at 11.12 lakh rupees going all the way up to 20.62 lakh rupees for the GTX plus 80 diesel variant. You also get different transmission options to choose from like the manual, CVT, DCT, clutchless manual and the torque converter unit. So if you are in the market looking to spend somewhere around 10 to 20 lakh rupees, definitely take a look at the Seltos. It's me Josh signing off and consider subscribing to the channel for future updates.